The South Asian Insider Opinion and News Analysis, exclusively on Josh India Web TV. I, Shishmita Ghosh, Deputy Managing Editor, India Analyze, Lakhimpur Kheri Violence, where prime suspect in custody for lethal political aggravation. The volatile political scenario in Uttar Pradesh took a violent turn in Lakhimpur Kheri recently. A group of protesting farmers, along with onlookers and journalists, were trimmed down by a group of vehicles to disperse the mob. The witnesses have pointed at Ashish Mishra, son of Union Minister Ajay Mishra, as the mastermind for the mayhem. Uttar Pradesh recently has seen several farmers' agitation and movement on a large scale. In Lakhimpur Kheri, it was an anti-farm law, and the farmers were campaigning against the visit of Keshav Prashad Maurya, the Deputy Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh. At this rally, all broke loose when three cars mowed down, the protester followed by assassinating. The witnesses and the present farmer leaders have claimed that the person driving the SUV was none other than Ashish Mishra. Besides, the four farmers, two BJP party members and a local journalist died at the spot. The union minister has outright denied his son's involvement in this. Even in the face of witness accounts, the police are yet to find any concrete evidences against Ashish Mishra to produce on the court. The opposition party leaders from across the nation tried to reach Lakhimpur to talk to the farmers, but the administration denied any access. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi stated over Twitter that the ongoing investigation is bound to face obstruction, as Ajay Mishra is still the union minister in office. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, his sister, and the Congress general secretary was also detained as she was on her way to meet the family of the deceased farmers. The court initially sent Ashish Mishra to 14-day judicial custody. Later, the police got him on a three-day remand against their initial claim of two weeks, scheduled to end on October 15. Chief Judicial Magistrate Chintaram has granted the remand on the condition that Ashish Mishra will have his lawyer present during the interrogation. The national political scenario remains a buzz on the Lakhimpur Kheri case. A seven-member delegation team from Indian National Congress, led by Rahul Gandhi, is going to meet Indian President Ram Nath Govind to present a memorandum on the Lakhimpur incident and developments. Priyanka Gandhi has attended the final rites of the farmers. The senior Congress leader was joined by Rakesh Tikade, the leader of the Bharatiya Kisan Union. As the UP election is on the horizon, a potential alliance between the two can be a major cause of worry for the ruling party. Undoubtedly, the Lakhimpur Kheri incident is a massive administrative failure. In the light of the approaching election in UP, it can prove pricey to the ruling party in the state too. The opposition is trying to make the most out of the session. The constant prohibition of the national level opposition leaders adds fools to the fire only. Even though the image of the central government was stained, in this incident, the prompt action that they took is surely creditable. At their request, the Yogi government at Uttar Pradesh changed its stance. There were prompt judiciary and administrative actions, which led to Ashish Mishra's arrest. Thanks for watching our show. We look forward to your comments. If you want to share our news with us, please email. Keep watching Josh India Web TV on YouTube.